Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. So, square root of pi plus e equals square root of pi. So, each letter is a different digit from 0 to 9, but p is not equal to 0. So, meaning, this pi is a two-digit number, and this pi, p-i-e, is a three-digit number. Now, the goal in this question is to find the value of P, I, and E. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All the right. Now, to answer this question, we will use listing method. Because this number, three-digit number, P, I, E, this must be a perfect square number. And there's few three-digit perfect square number. So let's start with 10 raised to the power of 2, which is 100. 11 squared is 1 to 1. 12 squared is 1, 4, 4. Down to, up to, up to, up to 31 squared. Because 32 squared is 1024, which is a four-digit number. All right. Now, let's have the first condition in this question. So the first condition, all of this digits are different so p is not equal to i and not equal to e therefore in this list this 100 is eliminated because we have two zeros this 121 we have two ones also eliminated we also eliminate this 144 because we have two fours we have two twos in this 225 we have two zeros in 400 we have two six oops we have Two fours in four four one. We have two six in six seven. We have two fours also in four eight four. We have two six in six seven six, and we have two zeros in nine hundred. So those numbers got eliminated. So let's have the those numbers. And the second condition is this: square root of pi is a perfect square number also. So Meaning, the hundreds digit and the tens digit must be a perfect square number. So, 16 is a perfect square. 19 is not. So, this is eliminated. 25 is a perfect square. This is good. 28 is not. 32 is not. 52 is not. 57 is not. 62 is not. 72 is not. 78 is not. 84 is not. And 96 is not a perfect square number. So, the second condition, only three numbers have this property now let's focus on these three numbers and then let's apply this equation so square root of pi plus e equals square root of pi so let's apply this so square root of 16 plus 9 equals square root of 169 so 256 we have square root of 25 plus 6 equals square root of 256 and 361 is just square root of 36 plus 1 equals square root of 361 now, square root of 16 is 4, and square root of 169 is 13. Now, square root of 25 is 5, and square root of 256 is 16. Square root of 36 is 6, square root of 361 is 19. Now, 5 plus 6 is just 11, and we know 11 is not equal to 16. So, this is not accepted. Also, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 7 is not equal to 19. So, this is also not accepted. So, 256 is eliminated, and 361 is also eliminated. And the only possible choice for P, I, and E is this number 169, wherein this P is equal to 1, this I is equal to 6, and this E equals 9. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, given this equation square root of PI plus E equals square root of PI E or pi, also each letter is different digit from 0 to 9, and P is not equal to 0, then the value of PI and E that satisfies this equation must be equal to 1, 6, 9. And as always, we are done.